Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a whimsical unicorn gel polish set with Trace Nail Designs here on YouTube. So once I've done my set and you've watched the video, go and check hers out. I'll leave the link to her channel in the description box below. So today I am using Madame Glam gel polishes and I'm using this silver holographic foil that I got from, oh, I don't know, eBay or AliExpress, somewhere like that. And I'm using the SBD foil gel to secure this to the nail. Secure, is that the right word? Stick, I suppose. So I'm going to show you the colours as I use them. Um, the first one I'm using is Cashmere Grey. This is, excuse the dust, oh my goodness. This is a really like light grey. So this is going to be the base for the holographic foil. I was going to put two coats, but I decided that I only needed one. It was just in case there were any gaps left in the foil gel, uh, in the foil gel, in the foil. Uh, I was, I, I wanted a, a similar-ish colour, though it's not really that similar. Um, so that if there was any gaps, then you wouldn't really see them. But I'll show you what I do in a minute anyway to cover up the gaps. So we're going over now with the SBD London Foil Gel Glue. Foil glue gel. Foil gel glue. It cures in the lamp for 60 seconds. You want to make sure every part of the nail is covered when you apply that because you don't want any gaps. Then I am placing the foil gently on the nail and I'm using the silicone tool to rub the foil into the nail. Just trying to make sure I cover every little patch. And then when I think I've done, I'm gonna, I like to rip it off like, like, you know, like wax, like ready, one, two, three, like that. There are little gaps, but you can press the foil back into those little gaps and then it will cover them. And the um, cashmere gray wasn't, you know, you could still see it underneath, so that didn't quite work as planned, but look how nice that is. <gasps> Oh my god now i'm going to take madam glam's no wipe top gel i'm going to seal the foil in and then we can carry on with our design over the top of this nail all madam glam gel polishes secure in an led lamp for 30 seconds so that is what i'm going to do now i've got a load of other colors i'm going to be using i'm going to be using my nail sugar natalie mugridge detailer brush this is my most favoritist brush ever it's got ab crystals in the handle and it's got an a zero a triple zero sorry ultra fine brush end so to put all my colors on i'm going to be using this palette from nailchemy and the colors i'm using are this one is baby blue so I'm going to put like a blob of each colour on this palette because it's just easier for me to work from the palette. The green I'm using is called Early Bird. You can get 30% off all my Dom Glam gel polishes using my code NATMUG30 as well. The yellow is their perfect yellow. I love this colour. It's a really nice yellow. It's perfect. <laughs> And then I have got Dusty Coral, which is going to be... Oh my gosh, you're yawn. Oh, I'm tired, by the way. Uh, which is going to be our orange. And then I'm going to be using Rose, which is one of my all-time favourite pinks. And the last one I've got is Light Lilac. Again, one of my absolute favourites. Oh, yes. I just love a lilac. Love me a lilac -y purple. Right, there we go. So we've got our colours on our palette. So now what I'm going to do is, we're going to do like a unicorn horn. You know how you have the, the product and then a gap and then a product and a gap. You know what I mean? Well, this I saw on the Not Polished YouTube channel. Only I thought I would... They used, She used... Um, gold foil and different colors and i thought i'd use silver holographic foil and some more like uh pastel -y. not they're not even pastels actually just a uh, slightly brighter color i think she, i think um tao used like mostly pink i can't re i can't even remember now but i remember she used gold foil <laughs> anyway yeah so it was them and i thought i really want to try that now but i wanted to use different colors so i've put the purple on I've only put like a section. Don't forget we've got several other colours to go on this now and we want a gap between each. 
Now I thought I would use Nelkami's Ice Acrylic. Before I cure it, I'm gonna sprinkle it over. Can you see the really pretty effect you get? Um, I didn't show you, but I do cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then once it comes out of the lamp, I do brush off the excess acrylic powder before I go in with the next color. This one is the rose pink. So again, I'm just gonna section off a part of the nail dedicated to this color. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know what I mean? I'm doing it in a kind of curve and that curve's gonna follow all the way down the nail. So we're gonna go in now with the acrylic, again, before we cure. Um, and then, so this is it. I cure for about 40 seconds because Madame Glam gel polish is curing 30, so I cure for 40. Um, when you are sprinkling on this acrylic, what you want to do is sprinkle it on, leave it to settle, and then you might get some shiner bits because that gel polish is going to suck up some of that acrylic powder. Wait for it to do that and then sprinkle some more on because we want a textured look. We don't want it to go back shiny again. So can you see I've gone down the nail and I have cut a lot of this out because this video was way long. There's a lot going on in this video, so I kind of wanted to get it all in without being boring. Not boring, but without it dragging on, you know? So that is that nail done. I'm using my soft brush to brush off that excess, you know, acrylic. So that is the multicolored pastel rainbow unicorn horn nail. Ta-da! The next one I'm gonna do is an ombre, but we're doing an ombre with all of the six colors. Is it six colors? Purple, pink, or yes, yeah, six colors, yeah. So, because there's six colours, I'm going to apply them using my detailer brush. These will be available again soon from the Nail Sugar website. Can't wait for them to come back. We just have to wait for the post to get sort of back to some kind of normality because we're worried that parcels are going to go missing. So, please bear with us. Um, so, as you can see, I'm putting a section, a bit like we did the first nail, but... I want the colors to meet each other and we're going to go across we're going straight across we're not going at a curve or an angle up the nail or down the nail so when we get to the top i will show you what we're going to do okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm worried that my ombre brush is going to be too big to do this the blend between the colors so i'm going to use my detailer brush to actually do the ombre now i'm just flicking it backwards and forwards through the colors moving it up and down so that those colors do eventually blend together and you don't have to worry too much on this coat because this is the first coat so if your blend or your ombre isn't you know isn't perfect then you could always perfect it with the second coat now between each color um like before you move to the next section of colors, you need to just wipe off your detailer brush. I wipe, I just wipe mine between two pieces of, um, I curl up the corner of my paper towel and just squeeze the excess gel out. Uh, if you're really worried, you can just clean it in some top coat or some base coat, but don't use, um, like don't use acetone or alcohol because that will, that will dry the brush out. You don't really need to use that. So I'm going to carry on all the way down the nail until I have got uh, a blend that I'm relatively happy with. Again, as I said before, don't worry too much if it's not perfect because we're going to go in again with a second coat. Okay, so now I'm here, I'm gonna pop it in the lamp to cure. Sometimes I like to leave it to settle for a few minutes because then that helps get rid of those like ridges where you've, um, you know, where you've tried to do the blend. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my second coat now, but I'm not gonna show you me doing this because I don't want the video to drag on for as long as it needs to be done. So anyway, this is what we look like with the second coat. Um, I'm gonna pop that into the lamp. Now it's come out, I'm gonna go over with some Madame Glam base coat uh, for two reasons, one, uh, it's going to smooth the nail out, hopefully anyway, um, and two, I want to apply some diamond dust glitter over this, so although the gel polish does have a tacky layer anyway, when I burnish glitters into 
the gel polish i want to have a i want to have a really 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 tacky layer and i always find that the base coat is the best way to get a really really tacky layer because sometimes some gel polishes don't have a very tacky tacky layer <laughs> I'm using Diamond Dust from Nail Sugar. This is, it has to be a staple in your glitter collection. It's absolutely beautiful. So to burnish it in, um, ignore the glitter that's already there. I want to burnish it into the uncured layer, like a titty. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, if you're gonna burnish it into the tacky layer, you need to cure the gel, the, sorry, you need to cure the top coat. No, it's not top coat. You need to cure the base coat before you burnish it in, okay? Don't do what I do and accidentally forget that you have to cure it first. So to burnish it in, you're just rubbing it into the tacky layer. That's all it means. Burnishing in is just like rubbing it into that tacky layer. So try and get off any excess you can. Don't overdo it like I did just then because you end up with clumps of glitter that kind of clump together where they got a bit tacky. Um, again now for some reason I don't know why I'd, or is it was this the top coat um, I can't remember what this was but some of the nails I end up putting base coat on and then top coat in because I wanted it to look nice and smooth this one I think I went straight in with the top coat yeah hold it upside down get your client to hold their hand upside down and then that will make the top coat nice and smooth looking and you get that nice straight line of light and that's the that's the first two nails finished Okay, so moving on, some might say this is a little bit of a cheat, but I think water decals are brilliant for um, just adding detail onto, onto nails. So I like this little, this little, there's a little chubby, I like these ones best. There's loads, so many different things on it. I love this little chubby unicorn here. It's so cute. It's either chubby or pregnant. I'm gonna go with chubby because it's pretty cute. <laughs> So there's a few little decals from this sheet that I want to use. I've had this for a little while. Can't remember where I got it from. It was probably someone like eBay or AliExpress. Um, you can get them for like a pence sheet. So do, you know, just type in water decals and yeah, you'll have like tons to choose from. So the color that I'm using is rose. I'm going to put two coats on. While that one is in the lamp curing, I'm going to cut out the little decals that I want for this particular nail. So I'm just going to cut out that unicorn and the rainbow. I kind of wanted it to look like the unicorn was sitting on the rainbow. The decals do have a film over them. So you'll just need to make sure you get that film off before you pop it in the water. I had trouble getting it off. <laughs> <laughs> got there in the end so it's just a little bit of that film the bit of the plastic that goes over the the decals just stick them in your water they only need to be in there for i'd say um well they need to be in there i reckon for a minimum of 20 seconds but you'll know when they're ready to come off because they just literally slide off the back in um this is the second coat that i'm going to go over with there we go pop that in the lamp and then while that's in there, I'm going to, oh no, I'm not, right, it's out, I can't remember. Right, look, if you see, it literally just slides. What I'm doing now, oh, hang on a minute, because I do go out of shot slightly here. So when you take it out the cup or whatever you're using to put your water in, dab it onto your paper towel. I didn't realise how quite out of shot I was, but it, right, when it's, to get the mo excess moisture off, because you don't want it to be wet. And then see how it just slides off that back in, and then that will sit really nicely and securely onto that tacky layer i just pushed it into the tacky layer and then i'm going to get the unicorn out see sometimes when you get them out they'll be they'll be look they'll be slipping off already so just make sure you get the excess moisture off and then this unicorn is going to sit just above the rainbow looking at it now if i were to do it again i'd probably have it slightly further down the unicorns do have wings don't they so they could it could be she could be flying a little bit i don't know but there's no way i could have hand drawn that that small to get that much detail on it so that is why water decals are a pretty good and they're so much they're quicker as well i do don't get me wrong i do love i love drawing you know hand drawing hand painting nails but sometimes like especially if you are doing you know if you've got several clients a day you're going to need something like this to get your not to get them in and out i don't mean like that but it's a lot easier and quicker to do it like this for you and it's going to save you time yeah so this one 
Uh, I burnished the diamond dust over that tacky layer and now I'm going over the top with the base coat. I think I didn't want, right, water decals are very, 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 very thin. There's highly, you're highly unlikely to get any um, like lines or anything, but I wanted to go over with the base coat just to doubly make sure that my nail was super smooth. You could use um, a very thin layer of builder gel if you wanted to, like builder in a bottle, but I decided to use the base coat. Now I'm going over with the top coat and I'll hold the nail upside down before I put it in. I didn't show it, but I did. Um, again, I, I love I love the nails to be really smooth. If you do find you have like a little bit poking out, oh look, these are the other bits of the decals that I'm gonna be using. These are what we're gonna use on the next nail. And I'm gonna use the light lilac for this nail. So we're gonna apply, oh, I love this color so much. It's so nice. Yeah, so we're gonna apply one coat of this. Then while that's in the lamp, I'll stick those decals in the water and then work on the second coat. Um, so yeah, if you do find that once you've cured your nails and there are some like rough bits from burnishing the gel polish or whatever, you can go over with a buffer and just buff them smooth and then re-top coat. You just wanna make sure you don't buff off any of the glitter or any detail underneath. You don't wanna go too mad with the old buffer. Just do it gently, you know? So we're gonna go in with our second coat now coverage on these is really nice as well I do love me some Madame Glam gel polish there we go so we're gonna pop that into the lamp for 30 seconds and we're gonna get these little diddy that the back that, that just came straight off the back in the back in fell straight in, fell back into the swimming pool right if I'd have done this again I don't know why but I put the two pink decals at the bottom of the nail if I'd have thought about it, I would have separated them initially. Like I probably would have put one pink at the top and one pink at the bottom and had the other two in between. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So I've got the little blue diamond. I love diamonds. See, I'll put that next. And then I put two pinks. So I should have sort of separated the pinks up a little bit, shouldn't I? So again, just tap that into that tacky layer. I absolutely bloody love this set. I can't wait to see what Trey does as well. We haven't seen what each other's done yet, so that'll be exciting. So we're going to pop the heart on. I'm desperate to get some more of these unicorn decals now, so I might have to scour eBay and AliExpress to see if I can find some more of this one. I do have other unicorn ones, but I particularly like these ones. I think they're really fun. So this is going to go on the bottom. You see what I mean? Yellow, blue, pink, pink. It should have been like pink, yellow, blue, pink, or pink, blue, yellow, pink. I don't know. Do you know what, you know what I mean? I'm just going to move this up slightly as well because I was being super fussy that day. You can too be super fussy. <laughs> Okay, then I decided to take a little bit more of that diamond dust and stick it over the tacky layer of this nail. I, I just, I can't get enough of diamond dust. See what I'm doing here? I'm doing it really gently, like dabbing the brush into the skateboard outside, I mean. <laughs> dabbing the brush lightly into the glitter and then carefully burnishing it over. If you put masses on, like I did pre on the previous nails, you end up with like clumps of the glitter where it's sort of stuck together from the tacky layer. There we go, so I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna do that whole weird thing again where I do the base coat and then the top coat. Isn't that nice though? Oh my gosh, I love this set so much. It's nice as well to do a gel polish set. I think I've done loads of acrylic sets lately. So I think it's nice to mix it up a little bit. Though I think people I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What do you do? You prefer gel polish or acrylic sets? I don't mind doing either. I kind of at the moment I feel a little bit. Um, uh, I'm running out of ideas a little bit for the old gel polish ones, but I could. 
I don't know, I'll have to scour Pinterest and Instagram for some ideas. So let me know in the comments if you prefer gel polish sets or acrylic sets or if you're not fussed either way. That would be very helpful. <laughs> okay, so the very, 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 very last nail we're going to do is going to be two coats of baby blue. And then um, we're going to shove some diamond dust on because unicorns, unicorn sets equal glitter, right? I don't think you can ever have too much glitter on a unicorn set. I made that coat a little bit too thick. Don't make your coats too thick because sometimes if the gel polishes are really pigmented and if you have too much, like if you have a really thick coat, sometimes the light from your lamp can't, this is in general, not, not Madame Glam, but in general, um, if your coat is too thick, the light can't penetrate through that gel polish and you'll end up with your nail, uh, your gel polish wrinkling. Isn't that pretty? I love that over that blue. So we're going to just top coat base coat sorry i think and then we top coat i can't rem i can't even remember now yeah base coat and then top coat and then i will show you the finished set don't forget to check out trey's nail designs i'll leave her link in the description box i will be checking her out at seven o'clock this video might be up before it might be up after i'm not sure so there we go Ta -ta -ta -ta. i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing if you do want to get 30 percent off madden glam gel polishes you can do so using my code natmug30 and the same with nail sugar if you want to get 10 percent off you can use my code natmug10 thank you for watching and i will see you beautiful lot tomorrow bye